Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this phone cover. I really love this stitch. I already used the same stitch for my crop sweater. And yeah, I make this phone cover like two hours this morning. And you can use the same method to make the cover for any auto device you can make cover for your iphone ipad or anything at all that you want this phone is samsung s20 ultra as you can see the cover i have is only on the back side but in the front of the screen is no cover at all so i thought okay i'm gonna crochet something for a little protection when i put this phone in my bag in this project you can use any yarn that you want i use this Cascara yarn I run with with a hook for millimeter hook. You need also a tape measurement, a yarn scissor, and a needle, the yarn needle. <laughs> Alright, let's get started. So first of all, you're going to measure your phone. If you use different phone, it's fine. You just have to use the tape measurement and do like this. Take the tape measurement, measure across your phone, like around your phone, like how I did. I measure my phone and I kind of like make it really snug. Like I don't want to make it too loose because I want it to be slide inside perfectly. So it's 6.5 inches. Now I'm going to make the chain that match with 6.5 inches but also because of this design is the multiple of two meaning that you're going to make chain that is even number this is the yarn that i use cascara yarn i'm going to use two color i'm gonna start with this color and yeah go ahead make the chain that match with your measurement and make sure that it is even number so first uh, start with slip knot and make the chain. I'm going to make <laughs> um, 28 chain. You can just try and see. I tried first time it was too long. So I just come to the number 28 and it just fit perfectly for 6.5 inches. So go ahead, make the chain that will match with your measurement when you got it then you're going to slip knot at the first chain but make sure that your chain is not twist so that the ring that you are creating is not twist when you slip slip stitch not slip not slip stitch on a first chain then you're going to chain one and now you're going to add a single crochet into the same stitch where you slip stitch And now you're going to add a single crochet in each stitch across, meaning that if you have 28 chain like me, <laughs> you're going to have 28 single crochet. So go ahead, do that, and I'll meet you at the end of the round. So here I got two more single crochet to add. I also include the tail in there too. And here is the last one. Make sure that you have all the single crochet that you need. Now you want to also try if the ring, the first round, and I mean the ring that you make is fit your phone or not. You might want to put your phone and try it on. So your first round should be able to slide easily like that when you got your first round like so now we are continue in round two and from now on we are not going to have any beginning chain anymore we're going to add the first stitch of round two into the first single crochet from previous round we're going to add double crochet and you will also need to have a stitch marker. I forgot to mention that. It's good to have one stitch marker to, you know, 
added on the first stitch I didn't do it yet but I do it later on but yeah you can go ahead and add the stitch marker now then the next stitch you add single crochet and then the next one you add double crochet so this is the design for this round single crochet and double crochet so the first start with double crochet single crochet double crochet single crochet and this is what you're going to do until the end of the round if you haven't add the stitch marker now time to add the stitch marker <laughs> because the color is might not be able to see the different stitch now add the stitch marker so my first stitch is double crochet of this row so i add that on a double crochet then single crochet double crochet single crochet so this is what you're going to do until you arrive the last stitch before the first stitch of this round so go ahead do that and i meet you at the end of the round So here your last stitch is your single crochet. It should be your single crochet. So just make sure that your last one is single crochet and now you have complete your round two. And you will see that there is your stitch marker. It's very important to have a stitch marker so that you know where is the beginning. And now in round three, we will do differently. Round three, we're going to add front post double crochet around the double crochet from round two this is front post double crochet you poke the hook behind and up to the front again so your work is in the front of your hook and now you just make a double crochet around that this is how to make front post double crochet and then you're going to add a single crochet on the single crochet stitch you have to really make sure you don't skip anything you see the single crochet is hidden inside behind i mean and now you make single crochet on top of single crochet and now you're going to repeat that front post double crochet around double crochet stitch from previous round like so If you don't understand, just stop and go back to the part that you don't get it, <laughs> but it's quite simple. And now single crochet on top of single crochet from previous round. And this is the repeating of round three. Just go ahead, do that until you arrive at the last stitch, with, which is a single crochet stitch. And I meet you there. Here we are, our last stitch is single crochet. And now we are done with round three. You can see the stitch markers always show you the beginning of the round. And then the next round, you're going to make slightly different. Round four, you're going to add double crochet on top of the front post, double crochet from previous round and then single crochet into the next one so yeah it's like double crochet on top of front post double crochet single crochet on top of single crochet from previous round and this is what you're going to do for round four so keep repeating that until you arrive at the end of the round
So here is my last stitch of round four. It's a single crochet stitch. And yeah, from now on, you're just going to repeat this round three and round four for as many rounds as you wish. And you know, obviously, you just have to make as many rounds as you wanted to cover your phone. I made um, my phone is like seven inches. So I make almost seven inches and I change the color. I will show you where I change the color. But obviously you can make just one color or make more color if you want. But just make sure you have the stitch marker always there so that you know where is the beginning and you don't get lost. And just keep move up the stitch marker also when you work toward you know higher rounds so that you don't have to always count down to where the stitch marker you can always move the stitch marker to where you are so i meet you when i change the color so that you can see also how many rounds i have made mm, i didn't count <laughs> but i'm just gonna put my phone inside and see if it's going to cover already and obviously if you have a stitch marker it the beginning of the round you can count how many round you have but for me the most important thing is that it's cover my phone so i'm just gonna keep going until it arrives to the length that i like and for now i like this length for this color you can also leave the bottom open for charging but i sew it up because <laughs> i like it to be closed and i can just take the cover out when i want to charge my phone so at this um this where i am i want now to change the color i'm going to add the red color this one to the rest of the space that I have left for my phone, I like to color. So yeah, go ahead. If you want to change color as well, you can do that too. So keep going until you got to the rounds that cover your phone nicely. I need, um, I think this is the last round for me. I just gonna repeat this uh, pattern until I arrive at the end of the round. And as always, the last stitch should be single crochet. And when I got to the last stitch, I end the row with slip stitch. Look, I add slip stitch into the next one, which is the beginning of the round. Then I chain one, and now I cut the yarn. So this is how we end the trim nicely. And now I'm gonna put inside out because I'm going to sew the bottom together using the yarn needle and yeah and that's it you enjoy this DIY project let me know in the comment below if you like this and yeah I see you later in the upcoming video bye